Hey guys, I'm Honor here with another guide on how to cliff with Rubik um, after 7.0. Um, there are quite a bit of changes that happened since the last patch where Rubik got nerfed and you couldn't cliff anymore. However, with the map changes that were introduced by 7.0, there's definitely a lot of points back on the map where you can cliff people. The biggest advantage of cliffing people is early on in the game, you can set them back by preventing them from getting any experience or just guaranteeing a first blood. If they are a melee character that doesn't have initial skills for movement, then they will definitely have to spend some money on a teleportation scroll or they will have to have their buddy come in and help them out. So here I was just kind of showing a couple of basics, um, early game um, throws where when you come in to poke in for the rune, they start following you and you can easily toss them on the cliff. Um, other sides of the map are a little bit less likely for you to get a cliff early on in the game. Part of it is that your initial range on the skill is rather short. So in a lot of cases, it's just not far enough to place somebody on the hill. But majority of the places that are ward spots are actually pretty good locations to attempt to telekinesis somebody there. There are, however, spots that where wards can go and people unfortunately can't. In this video, I'm showing a lot of popular spots where you can throw people. This is one of the spots where you actually can't um, place a person. And in this case, I do have um, only level one range, but I tried it with a maximum level plus the level 25 talent. Even with the extra range, you just can't get the cliffing done, which is unfortunate. Um, however, with a lot of choke points on the map, there is still ability for you to either disrupt the fight by placing their melee carry on top of the cliff um, or just removing um, any other character and placing them there to isolate from the team. There's a lot of fights um, that happen around Roshan Pit. Um, there are, um, on both sides, there are definitely places where you can uh, relocate people there. On the bottom portion of the map, there are still spots where you can cliff people However, with recent map changes, this area is usually not traveled heavily at the beginning of the game. You can still catch probably Ricky or Trent who is trying to sneak by and place them on the cliff. However, the chance of it happening is unlikely. And all of these beginning cliffings are done with level 1 telekinesis, which is very, very um, short. However, as you get more levels into telekinesis, you can toss people further. However, the disadvantage at that point in the game is that a lot of supports will get four staffs. Some people will get blink. So at that point, tossing somebody on the cliff does not really guarantee you removing them from the fight. Another cool spot on the bottom is when you're playing against Trent is to place Observer and Sentry. And when you're expecting them to come in for a rune, you can definitely cliff them. However, with level 1 telekinesis, they have to be rather close to the tower for you to successfully cliff them. At this point, I'm just going to switch to a level 25 for Rubik with maxed out telekinesis and also level 25 talent that extends your range for telekinesis. It does um, make far more places viable for you to use telekinesis on. However, not a lot of times you actually make it to level 25 Rubik, even though with all of the recent changes, if the game does go that long, at this point, a lot of people have four staffs, so it might be useful, but not as useful as it is on the first couple of levels. A lot of places um, around secret shops, around Roshan Pit, at this point allow you to cliff. 
it is not as useful as I mentioned. Another uh, concern that you might have is cliffing ranged heroes. I would not recommend you cliffing snipers. Um, that turns out to be kind of deadly for your own team. Um, some supports uh, with a long range like Lich or uh, Jakiro are also pretty deadly on high points where you place them. But with some practice you definitely can get to the point where you can isolate somebody from their team and get a pick off. At the beginning of the game um, you can place somebody on the cliff then if you have vision and they do have a teleport scroll or they get a teleport scroll via courier or their teammate a lot of times you can um, interrupt their teleport and then delay them from getting experience and just kind of removing them from the game for even longer however later on in the game with boots of travel and flying couriers it no longer becomes an issue I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If I did put you asleep with my voice, I apologize. Uh, maybe you'll get a good full night's sleep. Otherwise, um, go ahead, load up the bot game and practice some cliffing, and then go and piss off more people in the uh, ranked matchmaking. Thanks for watching.